Hi there, in this video we'll be taking a look at this Ugreen micro USB to USB-C adapter. Although, maybe it should be the other way around because it actually adapts a USB-C end to a micro USB. But yeah, who am I to second guess them? So recently I got rid of most of the chargers in the house and basically unified them under a single one that uh, supports most uh, protocols, voltages, currents, uh, so all the devices are happy with that one, but that kind of means that uh, there's a single cable and uh, that one is actually Type-C. This also has uh, its own video and that particular charger, the really good one, his, uh, has its own video. So they will also be linked in the description. But this created the need to have something like this, an adapter for older devices. And this thingy uh, was really cheap and it actually has something like this. So I can put it on this cable. Uh, but it's free to move anywhere and when needed I just plug it in but it's always in here. So uh, yeah, let's get it out of uh, the box. This is the model. And really enough this is the other way around exactly as I said, not uh, as it's here. But yeah, doesn't really matter. Let's get it out. And it's out. This is obviously metal and uh, this is a plastic rubberized actually yeah between a rubber and a plastic somewhere looks good don't have absolutely any complaints with it whatsoever this thing which will be installing in a minute and uh, is it anything interesting in here feel free to read it but most likely it's uh, just a bunch of uh, safety things and uh, nothing else because it's a tiny adapter what else could it be in here so how they plan you use this thing or at least this is how i understand it you basically put this right here and then pass it through the cable it's in there and this little thingy is actually able to grab on ah, if i could actually open it up with my left hand oh i cannot really open it up let's be back in a second so it's opened up and now let's see if we can uh, grab onto that little hole right there and uh, yeah it's in here so when you need it just move it and plug it in uh, this being type C, the direction does not matter at all. And it's plugged in. I don't think it's fully plugged in. No, it's fully plugged in now. And it actually stays quite uh, flush in there, which is good. Yes, when you have something like this, be a bit more careful with the devices you plug into because you have a lot of leverage on the cable and on the connector also. So, yeah. But when you are done with... Uh, that device and my daughter's in the background talking you can simply slide it over the cable somewhere where it uh, doesn't bother you and use the cable as uh, you would normally so quite cool and if, if you want to remove it from the cable it's like that because this thing can actually uh, disconnect with this uh, quick lock or how it's called and now we are charging older uh, micro usb devices with uh, a new cable and uh, a big uh, charger that works for everything else in the house and behold uh, that uh, old uh, usb uh, power bank is able to draw the great amount of 3 watts while charging Ooh. but hey it works with this new charger and this new cable which is what i wanted and when it's not in use, I just pull it uh, at this end of the cable and uh, now we can get rid of uh, the old USB Nokia charger that doesn't want to come out. 
and now uh, this old Nokia charger can uh, go and retire and instead of having all of this I have this little thingy yeah I think that's uh, a better uh, better solution and yeah this little guy has been uh, in use for a bit it's working absolutely perfectly in this basius cable it stays really sturdy in there doesn't move doesn't wiggle doesn't anything so it's perfect for for my needs doesn't fall from here i always have it on this cable it's exactly what it should be and uh, yeah it's helping me charge even older devices without needing to keep older uh, chargers inside the house with uh, these kind of cables because yeah I don't like the clutter and also having stuff plugged uh, into your sockets will consume power for no good reason when you can have a single charger that does it all. So yeah, that's about it. Hope this video helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one. Bye.